morning guys, welcome back to Clash of Rec. So today we're gonna to take a look at the Town Hall 12 Queen Charge Hog Miner hybrid attack that is dominating at Town Hall 12. And we just got a new brand new studio upgrade so I wanted to show it off before we go over to the computer camera here. So I couldn't have made this new upgrade to my studio here without your guys' help. So all the people who helped me on Patreon, on Twitch subscriptions, on YouTube memberships, buying the merch that we just added down below the video, all this goes to help and upgrade equipment and make the videos better. So thanks guys, it really, really helps. We also got all of these uh, fun, fun Supercell toys and everything that maybe we'll do some uh, giveaways or something on. I haven't decided what we want to do with those. I got those when I was at the World Championship in Germany. Uh, all right guys, let's go get to the video here. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section down below because you guys have been blowing it up down there and that really, really helps a lot. So guys, let's go get into it. All right, guys, let's dive into this. These attacks are being drawn from the one high versus elite of Valor champion war league war today. And we did end up winning our first round of the champion war league here. So pretty excited about that. But here we go with Tex. Tex coming in with the queen charge hog miner hybrid attack with the siege barracks. And I do want to point out the town hall 12 is incredibly difficult right now. There is no town hall level in the game that is more difficult than town hall 12. You do have a handful of attacks that are still working really, really well. You have this attack, which is probably the best there is right now. You have the P.E.K.K.A. smash. You got Yeti smash, you have the bat slap when you have single infernos, you have all kinds of Lalo strategies, but I don't think any of them really compare in strength to this attack right here. So using the king to form one side of the funnel, using the baby dragon and a couple balloons there to form the other side, and a wizard over in the corner to help clear the trash out there. The queen steps up into the jump, she can reach the town hall from that compartment, and there's not a lot of expo fire in her. When we're looking for a queen charge path, we're looking for a area that doesn't have a huge grouping of expos because the expos lock onto the queen along with the other defenses and like if you engage a king and you have multiple expos on you your queen is not going to survive very long so we want to take out those expos and get the damage off of the queen we're looking for low damage density areas that the queen can step in and actually survive so he continues on here pull the cc with a couple hogs it was lurable on the opposite side of the base and you have to deal with the cc during this attack if you don't it's gonna break your hogs and your minus so be very careful with that the eagle activates here and as soon as he sees that eagle activate he sends in the siege barracks in the opposite corner over here and that's gonna start to form the funnel for the hogs and the miners but more importantly it's gonna take the fire of the eagle off of the queen so if the queen's getting targeted and she pops her ability because she's taking shots. The next fire of the eagle will go to her healers. And if they've hit like a single red mine or anything like that, then they will go down. So be very, very careful with that. If the queen starts to get targeted by the eagle artillery, you have to start the next phase attack where you drop, whether you drop the king or you drop a P.E.K.K.A. out of the siege barracks out there, either will work. She pops her ability. Her healers did get targeted because the sweeper over there did knock them into the range of the town hall. So they took a little bit of damage there. She'll continue on, not for too much longer here. I think she dies out. He pops the ward ability as he engages the enemy queen over there so the miners have a chance to take her down without losing too many troops there as he fight her off so he has the last heal come down as he moves in the last inferno the queen trying to break through the wall there to get to it the miners is kind of broken to the outside and the toughest thing about miners is they have to take that bend but if you've got a good position of your siege barracks on the outside to clear the trash out there then they can wrap the corner there and if you have a lot of hogs i think a lot of people like to run more hog heavy than miners because the miners main job is to go take the enemy queen but the hogs will naturally take the bend and move into the other side's defenses where the miners will get stuck behind and they will go into cleanup and they'll get the wizard behind them they'll go just randomly into areas of the, around the base there to do cleanup and then if any hogs survive then they will join up with them for cleanup at the end but if the hogs end up dying then a lot of times the miners will sweep in at the end and finish it off so awesome attack here by tex coming in with this three star and defying the odds there at town hall 12 and getting it done so as you can see here a lot of the other attacks here were dips but not this one warble came in and took out not jason uh, I don't know who it is if it's not Jason, but once again, Queen Charge Hog Miner Hybrid, this time with the blimp. So he used the uh, balloon over here to start to form the funnel. I think he's going to charge the town hall, if I remember right. And then he blimps out the single inferno that's going to protect the queen. It's going to draw the CC and it's going to start to form the funnel. That blimp is going to drop out yetis that'll take out the inferno and these uh, perimeter defenses along the edge here. And that'll make so that he has a very easy funneling point. So I don't remember what he used to go clear the corner over here, but the queen is starting off right there. Wizard to go clear out the storage there that is now available to be attacked there by wizard because the Yeti's cleared out the defenses over on the other side of the wall there. So the CC draws, he draws in a baby dragon. Baby dragon is going to start to clear out that corner and he has an archer tower over there. Maybe he can snipe it off there, but the baby dragon is going to make a pretty good 
progression through the base there. Maybe he's just trying to keep things centered. Oh no, this is what it was. He sends in the hogs and they take out the cannon and now he can wall break into the town hall. So solid funnel here. Test wall break comes down to go test for uh, black mines or small bombs. I mean, not black mines. Uh, does the queen turn back here? I don't even remember. No, she doesn't. She wraps around. So this one not going as planned here and this attack can still triple obviously even when that is uh, happening because when is uh oh man i'm getting flustered here so if the queen ends up walking he can still send the hogs the minus through the town hall itself and he still has a straight shot into the base here the hogs will not activate the town hall but the miners will in fact sometimes i like to send in the miners first and get them to duck under the town hall blast and I'll save your ward ability here but he does end up popping the warden he's gonna have to have a heal in the middle of the base there and since the queen is going along the edge of the base she doesn't need the rages anymore like she would if she was charging into the base so he sends in the rage to uh, go with his warden ability and surge those hogs and miners through the core of the base a little bit faster to make up for the queen not going in sometimes you can get a healer switch there in this case he didn't but the hogs and miners are ripping through they don't need to clear out the entire base but they need to make it far enough so that the the queen has no targets that she can't reach around the edge of the base there anymore so hogs minus are kind of split into the bottom side here this top inferno defending fairly good there as he tries to wrap to it with the queen but he's got to reach it with the hogs minus before the queen gets her healers targeted there i think she would actually survive either way but it looks like the base is crushed the miners are going to sweep through and clear out the rest of it that's why i'm saying sometimes the hogs die out early and then the miners have to sweep in at the end and finish it off so all the healers are tanking the inferno there so the miners aren't getting targeted at all they sweep in and take it so even with some mistakes there warble gets it done with a funnel fail so yeah very forgiving attack here and if you're paying attention you can still make things happen even when you mess it up so there we go i think that was the last from our team the rest of them were dips so that was two out of six i believe so define the odds there a little bit on the other side they ended up leaving a couple of our town hall 12s up just to give you once again an idea of the strength of town hall 12s right now on defense so here we go not jason returning fire against bane here also coming with the queen charge hog miners he's got the jump spell no wall breaks on this one he is coming with the blimp so he gets one less rage and he doesn't get any freezes because he's sacrificing those to get the jump spell so here comes the blimp the blimp's gonna bomb out that multi-inferno and then he can either charge the eagle artillery or he can charge the town hall I think somebody actually attempted this where they charged the town hall and tried to go that way first, but they, they failed. So I believe on this one, he switched it up and he went to the other side here and tried to charge the Eagle Artillery with a jump. So this one gets dicey. This one gets really dicey. So be prepared here for <laughs> the amazement of how he actually ended up three star in this because it was not clean. It was not clean. It, not Jason coming in here. Now, this is what I was talking about the witches. If they draw out witches from the CC, then you're going to have to have the the queen just fight off the skeletons there for a bit because you have to get the witches with the poison. If you miss the witches with the poison, then you're just going to be overwhelmed by continuous spawning there. Otherwise, you guys send in something extra to go kill the witches and they can tie the queen for a lot longer. So hopefully you're not under too much fire there as you engage those witches and uh, you who were able to just fight off the skeleton spells for a little while there in our skeleton spells, skeletons. And now the queen can continue along towards that eagle artillery, dropping a minion up in the top corner there, trying to funnel her in, but doesn't have the best funnel there for that queen. So now the king comes in in the top corner. He's going to send the hogs and mines right through the town hall. The hogs might surge past but they got some uh, defenses around that they can get distracted by and go to while the miners step up then a couple uh skeleton traps there might draw it off there a couple of miners split off to go and chase the skeleton traps but the majority of them do go to the town hall they're gonna get it down before the ward ability wears off no loses some hogs there to the town hall blast lots of mistakes here in this attack here as the queen does not take the jump swagging the jump the hogs and the miners sweeping out the core of the base here but he got great value and he's got a great funnel because it's the blimp and the king. The queen is going to clear out everything on that backside. He finally takes down the eagle artillery right about there. And he can move into the final inferno. So bomb towers here. Going to save him some health there by not passing the bomb tower immediately. It's nice if you can hit bomb towers late. If they're right in the middle, you can cover them with the heal. But ideally take them out at the end. In this case, it's just kind of path that way. I don't think he, did, he planned that. But... Kind of spammy on this one. Lots of mistakes here and still gets it done. So, yeah, the healers end up switching over to the warden here. He gets the... Wait, does he, how does he take out the bomb tower? What's the health of these miners now? I can't even see their health. 
Oh, they're all full health. Doesn't even matter. The Warden turns on the bomb tower and he takes it down. So, yeah, guys. This attack is very forgiving. You would not have been able to do that with any other kind of attack, right? Like if the queen walks, how often do you, how often do you three star when the queen walks on both your attacks? <laughs> in fact, on the last uh, person who attacked that same base there before not Jason hit it, he went in with the same attack and the, the queen went the opposite way on accident. And like he came close, he came really close here. Did not Jason get the six? No, it's the same one. Uh, there was one more. No, there wasn't. That's it. All the rest of these are dips or fails. So I guess that's where we wrap it up for today. Yeah. Um. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, you guys have been lighting up the comment section. So once again, thank you very, very much. Do it again. Drop in. What should be the keyword today? We'll say. Not P.E.K.K.A. I have my P.E.K.K.A. here. Um, We got to say. Hogs. Say hi. I guess you can't do the accent there, but throw it in the comment section guys, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace